It's finally the day that our future puppy that we're keeping is being born. We announced it six months ago that we were finally keeping a second dog. Boy, does that seem like a long time ago. And today, Charlie, the mom we chose, is having her puppies. I am anticipating every single puppy that's born, checking to see if it's a boy or a girl. Because let's face it, we are a girl family. We have two girls, Abigail and Aubrey, and Bella, our first dog, is a girl. So we are keeping another girl. There's no need to change it now. How did we decide it was the right time to add another dog to our family? Well, a couple of reasons. First, Bella loves playing with the puppies. She adores them. And it keeps her young at heart and physically active. She's almost 12 years old and we have started seeing some signs of her slowing down. Madison, our groomer, says she needs breaks each time she comes. And occasionally we see her have a harder time getting up from the ground. But each time the puppies leave and go home, she keeps looking for them in the garage nursery. So this time she'll get to keep one of her very own and keep playing with her. Second, the girls are old enough to start helping us with the new puppy. We have seen them help a lot with the mom dogs this year. Abigail loves taking them on walks, and Aubrey enjoys scooping the food, pouring the water, and playing with the puppies. I always find her in the nurseries holding puppies. Her favorite age is three to four weeks old. They are cuddly, but starting to play. So after we decided to add another dog, we had to pick out which mom and which dad. Charlie, AKA Charlotte Rose, has always been one of our favorites. She has this beautiful color of red fur and a white chest, which we hope passes down to her babies. Her personality is calm and gentle, and she's always looking for a ball to play with. Plus, she's very golden retrievery. Is that a real word? I, I think it is, so moving on. And the dad is Bella's grandson, Ripken. He is the sweetest, just like Bella. And he even gets excited over human happy news, like when his sister found out she was going to East Carolina. I love the fact that Bella and the new puppy are going to be related. Bella helping raise her great granddaughter will be the best. I know it doesn't mean as much to others, but it does to us. We also feel that the timing is perfect and we are financially ready to add another puppy to our household. We have gotten our schedules more in sync. We've been able to do a YouTube video and a live stream once a week and been able to keep up with the kids' school and social activities. Oh, and don't forget about our moms and puppies at the house. They get all my attention. Gymnastic season is winding down after one more meet and the kids only have one month left of school. It's the perfect time to start potty and crate training a new puppy. She'll, of course, stay with her litter until go home day, but eight weeks doesn't take long and then we will get to put all of our recommendations to the test. I know it's going to be a lot of work raising a puppy while caring for the other litters but I feel like our experiences leading up to getting our own puppy has helped us a lot. We have done crate training and potty training with the return puppies. We were able to crate train Sadie and she came back to us with a huge phobia towards the crate. When we got Bella, we were much younger, no kids and had a traditional full-time job. We had so much fun training her after work every day. I feel like the families and the YouTube community are expecting our journey to go smoothly and perfectly. But no matter what happens, we will share it because hopefully someone from this community can learn from our experience, even if we're working through a howling puppy or sleepless nights. I knew around nine o'clock this morning, I wasn't going to church. It was go time for the babies to come. She was whining some and kept wanting to go back upstairs to our bedroom. That's where she felt the most comfortable. It's been where she's been sleeping for the past week and a half. We got her early because her family was headed to Mexico on vacation. Last night, she even went behind our bed. I moved her into the nursery and she settled quickly. She started having babies at 10.08 a.m. And so far, she has had four boys. I started to think, what if she has an entire litter of boys? The kids would be so disappointed I secretly think JP might be relieved, but I have four more chances. The vet saw eight puppies from the x-ray, so maybe the next ones will be girls. All of the puppies are doing great. They have these beautiful white chest and white spots on their head. They are drying off, but it looks like at least one of them is really curly. Charlie has been so attentive to the puppies. These guys haven't made as much noise as prior puppies, but I'm not worried because they are nursing and eager to be beside mom. The first girl has been born. This could be our Lizzie, <laughs> Honey, or whatever else name does we come she? up with before she, she actually gets an official name. She is precious with white feet and a huge white chest. 
but personality is just as important to us. So we will definitely be waiting to see if we get to choose from a group or if she's it. So far she's drying off and looks to be a curly coat. I wanted to keep a wavy coat to match Bella, but we will see. Two more girls have been born and Charlie is resting comfortably. One of the girls is definitely a wavy coat. And the third one is so precious. She's a solid red, but very curly. One more puppy to go if the x-ray reading is correct. The last puppy has been born and it's another girl. We are so blessed to have four boys and four girls in this litter. The perfect combination. Charlie is doing fantastic and all of the babies are strong and healthy. I thought Charlie was done having puppies, but after two hours, she had two more puppies. One boy and one girl. Puppy count x-rays are not perfect, but they are a great starting place to have a minimum number of puppies expected. They both had white spots on them too. They were so adorable. I then put new bedding down to get the puppies off the wet mat and get Charlie some food and water when she's ready for it. After checking back in, one of the boys was not moving. He was warm, so I tried really hard to resuscitate him, but I couldn't get a heartbeat or get him to breathe. It was crushing. There was no trauma. I couldn't see anything wrong, but we don't know what was going on inside. It could have had something wrong with it that I just couldn't see, but it hurts when we lose a puppy like this, especially with everyone else healthy and moving around. So I'm just really trying to focus on the positives, but I can tell you there's three puppies that we have our eye on as a family, Miss Coral, Miss Yellow, and Miss Teal. They are all gonna have a wavy coat and each have individual features that we love where their personalities will play a huge part in who we keep. It's been four days now since Charlie's puppies have been born and they are so beautiful. We are really starting to see their color come out and their coats and all the different textures and we are in love with every single one of them. Abigail definitely has a favorite and that is Miss Pink. <laughs> but in my opinion, she's too curly for our family. We wanted to keep a wavy coat and she looks like she's gonna be really curly, but she loves this little spot on her forehead because she said it looks like a heart. Aubrey is in love with all of them, but she thinks that uh, Coral and Teal are her favorites. And mom is looking at Coral and Teal for sure. Those are my favorites. And I think it's because they have this beautiful wavy coat. And if I could find them, I would show them but they're all nursing. Oh, here's one. Here's Miss Teal. And I think she is precious. And then I gotta find Miss Coral. She's really under here. Ah, here she is. Here's Miss Coral. So yesterday we started their ENS and they have been really squirmy, but they have this position down pat, but when I start to put them on their back, and upside down, they are really wiggly, but that's okay. ENS is designed to challenge them and to make them have a stressful response, but then to recover and go back to that relaxed mode. And that's exactly what we want. So by the end of this two week period, from birth to two weeks when we do ENS, they will be pros and they won't mind at all. But we're gonna keep looking for all the different personality aspects of each of the dogs. We're not limiting ourselves to Coral and Teal. We're gonna look for all of the uh, personalities that we love, the attributes that we love. We look, we're looking for a more laid back dog, somebody that will get along with Bella, since we are adding her to our family and Bella is our full-time dog. <laughs> you see that wiggly? <laughs> That's okay though. And I really want a dog that's gonna get along with a variety of dogs. Since we have moms coming in to our home, our dog needs to be flexible and uh, just an easygoing temperament. So that's what we're gonna look for in a dog. All right, let's see who else we can do ENS with. This is one of the boys, Mr. Brown. I think every puppy has at least a touch of white on them which is so fun. We love to see that. I know. Charlie has been an amazing mom. This is her second litter and she has been easygoing. I mean, just really calm, cool, and collected. 
She doesn't get upset when one of the puppies is farther away. So we, we've talked about it before where we'll hear like a little squealing or a whining and it usually means that a puppy has gone too far away from the pack and can't figure out how to get himself back or herself because they can't see and they can't hear. So they are just using their scent to be able to get back to each other. And sometimes they will squeal or get upset and Charlie just kind of lays there <laughs> and she lets us come and help the puppy. So she's just been, she's done a great job. And she's already coming out, coming outside with us to go to the bathroom, which sometimes we have to take moms on a leash to get them to come outside um, because they're too nervous or they don't want to leave the mom, they don't want to leave the puppies. And Charlie has done a great job of already being willing to come outside with us to go to the bathroom and then come right back in and get with the puppies. This is Mr. Lime Green. The girls love this collar. I'm not sure, but I guess it's because it's so bright they thought it was really pretty, so they chose that one for him. There we go. All right, this is another one of the girls, Miss Purple. I think she might be the only one that doesn't have a huge white spot. I thought she had a little white on her chin, but I was wrong. So she might be our only one. She's our unicorn, she's unique. And Aubrey liked her a lot. <laughs> she's, she likes her because she's smaller. She's a, little, she's a little smaller than the rest of the group. But everybody is gaining weight. We're tracking that and it, everybody is gaining weight proportionally. It's going really well. There you go, all right. We have two more, Miss Yellow. So this is another one of the wavy girls that we have loved. And I think that she is really pretty. She's got a teeny tiny bit of white. I think that's the only reason why the girls haven't really fallen in love with her yet. But I think she's beautiful. Oh, Charlie's gonna clean her. And I am 99% sure that I have all the kids on board with the name Honey. And so our girls are really literal when it comes down to um, the names. And so Aubrey didn't want the name Honey because she thought they were going to come out almost more like purple's color, that really dark, dark red. And they've come out more of like a tanny color red. And so now that it is the color of Honey, I feel like Aubrey is going to say yes. But she wants, to, she wants to keep her options open until we actually pick the dog but I feel pretty confident in the name and I love it. Last one, Mr. Blue. He was the first one born and he, I can tell that because it was this huge white chest. It was so beautiful coming out. And I can't believe, I got so caught up in telling you guys about all the puppies and just being excited about showing them off that I forgot to do uh, the cold stimulation part of the ENS. So I will go back through and do that on them. And next week, we cannot wait. We're gonna be showing you guys Annie's puppies transitioning to the garage nursery. We have, we'll have Penny's puppies that will have been born. So that's gonna be beautiful because I can't wait to see what colors they come. Penny is our blonde, um, she's our blonde girl. There you go, put him back. And then we're gonna be doing um, just an update on every single litter. So we have Oakley's litter that will be two weeks old. Bella Grace's litter that's three weeks old, and Annie's that are four weeks old. So we have so many different puppies to show you guys, and we cannot wait to do that. So make sure you tune in next week, and then also come see us on our live. We do the live video Wednesdays at 4.30, and we've had a lot of fun answering questions and interacting with everybody on the community. So we will see you then.